all welcome to utkarsh academy so we can see uh, the today's topic for uh, cucumber framework so we have start learning the cucumber framework from scratch so today we are going to be discuss about the topic called data driven testing uh, so how we are going to be do the data driven testing in cucumber framework we already know that using the test ng framework we are having a test ng provided as a data provider annotation and using that data provider annotation we can easily do the data driven testing here uh, here couple of ways are there so do the data driven testing so today we are going to be pick one uh, way uh, how to do the data driven testing in cucumber we using the scenario outline so using the scenario outline and example keywords how we are going to be do the data driven testing this is the today's topic so just here we can see how to do the data driven testing uh, so just here i'm going to open one slide here just i'm going to be so today's topic is a data driven testing so here we can see that <clears throat> using the example keyword we are going to be discuss the how to do the data driven testing using the scenario outline and example keywords so basically uh, we know that we have using the scenario scenario so scenario basically uh, what kind of scenario we want to test so just we are going to be mentioned in that scenario uh, keyword uh, after that scenario keyword uh, which scenario we want to test but when we want to do the data driven testing then that time we are going to be use scenario along with outline so just we are using the Two keywords scenario outline so using that keyword so this is used to run the same scenario with couple of data sets two or more different sets of data we want to execute so then that time we are going to be use the scenario outline so just here uh, in example in our scenario if we you want to register another user so you can data drive the same scenario twice means or we want to uh, do the login testing functionality so just we are going to be use the uh, of data sets to test the login functionality hmm. so uh, again so just here we are using the example keyword so uh, here we can see the example keywords uh, inside that example keywords inside that example sections we are going to be add the test data so whatever the test data we want to execute so inside that example keywords uh, we are using the separator uh, symbol so using that separator we are going to be pass the test data here inside the examples so just here we can see one exa one uh, feature file here so you can see that scenario inside that scenario outline we are going to be mentioned the successful login with valid credentials so user is on home page user navigate to login page then and user enters so just here we can see that user enters username and password but we are added these inside the uh, brackets angular brackets we are using here username and password and then message displays login successfully so just here as a part of examples here we can see that uh, as a part of here we can see that whatever the uh, username and password keyword we are using uh, here in angular bracket so these username and password we are using as a header here inside the example and we can see the separator uh, the parallel line here we are using as a separator symbol and we are going to be separate the test data like here we are passing the two test data test user one and uh, test user two along with the passwords so just we are going to be do the same action same thing we are going to be do uh, in uh, eclipse here in our framework here how to do the data driven testing here so just here i am going to uh, create one feature file here so just here I'm going to be create a new feature file here. So go to the file and um, feature. I'm going to give the name as a data driven testing dot feature. And just I'm going to be click on finish. So here we can see that feature file get generated. So just I'm going to be delete that whatever the feature file is generated here. And I'm going to be use the same feature file which we have used here. So just I'm going to be use the Oh, you can see that. Hmm. So feature file. So here we are. We are having a feature file. So we are going to be do the login action. Uh, so scenario outline is the successful login with valid credential. So here we can see that user is on home page. Then user navigate to login page. Then user enters username and password, and then message displayed login successfully. Or just we are going to be uh, here. We can see that in login feature we are having a given user is on login page. So just we are going to be if we are having the same. Uh, set of data so just we are going to be use uh, we can use this step uh, given user is on uh, 
login page so just we are going to be remove this one and user enters username and password so just here we can see that we are having user enters here we are having user enters valid credentials so just we are going to be and then user should be redirected to the dashboard page here so just here we can see that and the message displays login successfully so these uh, things we are going to be so here given after that i'm going to be use the when and then we are validating purpose we are using then so just here this is the feature file we have created now we go to the runner class and in test runner class there is the uh, earlier we are having one runner class so just i'm going to be create one more runner class here go to the new and create a class here so data driven runner just i'm going to give the name as a data driven runner here and give the name of that file is data driven feature so now i'm going to be remove the remaining things just uh, so we are having only glue and features these are the two things now i'm going to be run the runner class so just given step is getting executed because it's navigate to that uh, automation exercise login page so two times it's it may get executed here we can see that because uh, two scenario we are going to be missed two uh, test data we are going to be provided here in, as a part of scenario outline so two times they are going to be executed and here we can see that as a part of unimplemented whatever the scenario we haven't implemented here we can get this scenario here so just i'm going to be copy these two step definitions so, so two steps and i'm going to be go to the step definition here and just i'm going to be add this step definition here so here now we can see that we have added the step definition so just i'm going to be update that step definition here just i'm going to be update so now here we can see that we are going to be user enter the valid credentials so we have web element we have already uh, so just i'm going to be copy these contents here and i'm going to be paste here so now uh, so here, just here we can see that we are going to be enter the inside that email address we are going to be enter the uh, username and inside the password we are going to be enter the password so just i'm going to be copy this credentials uh, and put here directly username as email id and password here we can see that i'm going to be copy that password and put here this one is a password here so just we are going to be keep it huh? and now as a runner class here we as a sorry step definition class so uh, we can here we can use the string here just we are going to be mention uh, whatever the string we are going to be use here so uh, as a username we are using string one and a password we are using string two so just we are going to be uh, pass the string so they are going to be refer these strings they are going to be refer uh, from the examples they are going to be pick these words and now here we can see that finally uh, after the successful login here we can see that uh, we get the messages users successfully redirected to the uh, dashboard page so here we can see or we directly mention that oh, just here we are given hmm, that the so same element i'm going to be copy here and i'm going to be paste here so users successfully uh, navigated or uh, login successfully here so just now our steps are finally done and uh, here we can see that the uh, this uh, this one is this scenario is not getting successfully executed here because test user two and test at the rate one five three is a not a valid password. So just we are going to be see that here in that 
particular situation the first scenario is getting successfully executed and second scenario might get failed this one is the our expected output so uh, once we are going to be execute that script and we are going to be see that what kind of output we will get hmm, from that runner class so just i'm going to be run the runner class data driven runner and here we can see that we have successfully launched the browser here and we can see that we are going to be enter the user id and password here from the feature file so here we can see that we have entered a user id and password here successfully we have entered but here we can see that uh, we haven't successfully logged in your email id and password they are going to be say that your email id and password is incorrect uh, so if we are going to be provide a valid credentials here so here this is the first scenario we can see that now we are going to be see the second scenario just here we can see we are having another one more scenario here so just here we can see that second scenario now here whatever the inputs we have been passed test user 2 and test at the rate 5 1 5 3 so here we can see that again uh, please include at the rate in email so we are not provided the valid email address so here we are getting the uh, validation check here we are getting the validation error so that's why here we can see that uh, the both here we can see that the both things are both scenario are getting failed here we can see uh, so both scenario are getting failed so just here uh, we do one more thing here we are having a valid credentials also so just we can use the valid credential uh, so valid credential here uh, this one is the valid credential so just i'm going to be uh, keep that valid credentials in data driven feature file so just here we can see i'm going to be add hmm, one more one uh, set of test data here so this is the password now i'm going to be add the this one is the username i'm going to be use so here now we are having the three sets of test data so three times our test get executed the first one is the valid and same another two are the invalid so just here now again i'm going to be run the runner class data driven runner class and again we are going to be validate uh, the how many times our test get successfully executed and how many times our test get failed here so just here we are trying once again with the data driven approach hmm? using the scenario outline and examples keywords <clears throat> so now we are trying with the valid credentials so now here we can see that we have successfully click on login and we can see that user is successfully logged in so you can see that logged in as a utkarsha so this one is the our first valid uh scenario done now we are trying the two invalid scenarios so just we can see that how it works with invalid scenario so just here we can see that the browser new browser get launched now we are entering the invalid uh, so first one is we are providing the valid email id but invalid password so we are getting error message and the third one we are providing the invalid mail id so just we are providing the username but that username i haven't any mail id so we are getting the email validation there uh, so just here we are so this one is this is nothing but an the data driven testing this is the easiest in the easiest way we are going to be do the data driven testing uh, in cucumber framework so this is the, this is the approach directly if we are having a limited set of data then we can directly pass these uh, set of data with the example keywords but if we want to do if we are having a huge set of test data we want to test 100 users thousands users for the same functionality then that time we are going to be we are not going to be use that approach we are having a, another approach means we are going to be uh, use the here we can keep our test data in excel file and uh, we are going to be pass the data from excel so using the excel we are going to be read the data from excel and we can pass uh, as a part of data driven so here we are having a data table also is one more way to do the data driven testing so definitely we can explore how to do the data driven testing using data tables or with uh, 
uh, excel sheet so we can do these things also but these things we are going to be picked for the next session so if you like our session how to do the data driven testing with the example keyword in cucumber so please like share and subscribe with kasha academy thank you for watching